Three Westerners, including an American and a Briton, are reported killed in a government ambush in the Syrian town of Idlib, according to a foreign-based human rights group. The family of Nicole Mansfield, a convert to Islam from the U.S. state of Michigan, say the FBI has confirmed her death. The British man is said to have been born in 1990. The reports are unconfirmed, but the Westerners were said to have been with rebel forces when they were attacked by the Syrian army. International peace talks on Syria that were originally set for early this month now look set to be postponed. Syria's main opposition faction says it won't enter negotiations until the Lebanese group Hezbollah stops fighting alongside Syrian government troops. Meanwhile, it's been confirmed that several foreign nationals, including an American woman and a UK citizen, have been killed fighting on the side of the rebels. RT's Marina Botnaya has the details. The American woman killed fighting alongside opposition forces in Syria has been identified as 33-year-old Nicole Lynn Mansfield. Her driver license photo in which she's uh, pictured wearing a headscarf was broadcast by a Syrian television station. Mansfield reportedly converted to Islam after falling in love and marrying an Arab immigrant. According to her family, Mansfield divorced that man three years ago. Now, the U.S is reportedly working via the Czech Republic mission in Syria to obtain more information about Mansfield. But this is not the first case of an American fighting in Syria. Earlier this year, Eric Haroun, a former U.S. soldier, made headlines when he posted videos of himself online in which he appeared to be fighting with rebel groups, holding weapons and driving with fighters through contested parts of Syria. Bashar al-Assad, your days are numbered. You're going down in flames. You should just quit now while you can and leave. You're going to die no matter what. Where you go, we will find you and kill you. À Adlib, une embuscade a été menée par l'armée arabe syrienne contre des terroristes près de l'usine des conserves. L'embuscade mise en œuvre à Adlib près de l'usine des conserves sur la route Harem a fait trois tués, dont une femme portant un passeport américain issu de Michigan est né en 1980. Le deuxième terroriste est de nationalité britannique nommé Ali Manassifi, né à Londres en 1990. Et le troisième terroriste n'a pas été identifié. Ce groupe possédait des armes, des ordinateurs et des cartes sur des sites militaires. In Idlib, our armed forces ambushed a terrorist group near a canned food factory on Idlib Harim Road, killing three members of the group, including a woman that carried an American passport, indicating that she was born in 1980 from the American state of Michigan. The second terrorist was Ali Manasifi, a British national born in London in 1990. No identification documents were found with the third. Weapons, a computer, and maps of military positions were found in their possession.